Alright, what's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. I got some new news lately regarding the Marvel's movie coming up in the MCU. So, the director Nia DaCosta told Total Film Magazine that she thinks superhero fatigue exists, which I agree with, but that the biggest difference from the other MCU movies that uh, the Marvel's has in relation to them is that it's really wacky and silly and that the worlds that they go into inside of the movies are unlike anything that you've ever seen before and that they're brighter or something like that <laughs> and it's just kind of crazy to me like I don't get why these directors and con are constantly sabotaging themselves like in their comments because I guess they really do believe what they're saying but like you can fact check, you can fact check this on social media and see what other people are saying about all the movies that have come out recently from Marvel they have not been great and they've all also had one thing in common incredible like insane amount of comedy it's also been wacky and silly in terms of writing as well Black Widow we already know how that came out uh, Shang-Chi was alright Eternals I think was overhated No Way Home was a bit of fan service Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness was like more of a Wanda movie and then the writing could also have been better and yeah that was not the best movie either Thor Love and Thunder was definitely wacky and silly because it did not take itself seriously and the comedy was also incredibly bad because of it like because of so much of it in the movie and they introduced a character that said that he kills gods but they never showed the character killing any of the gods in the movie so you can imagine just well they only showed him once killing a god but come on um and then Wakanda Forever also had its flaws as well and in Phase 5, Batman and the Wasp Quantumania was terrible as well. Guardians of the Galaxy is like the only good movie out of like Phase 5 so far. And then the Marvels is coming up and Deadpool 3 is probably going to be fan service as well. So I don't really get what, where she's coming from here or where the thought process is behind this. Um, Wacky and Silly is, the, is the very thing that you don't want your movie to be right now. Or at least so far those traits of a movie have been associated with bad writing and bad pacing and just a bad movie overall and to say that your movie is like different from the other MCU movies because it's wacky and silly is like saying that um that it's like saying that your pizza is different because it's in the shape of a square it's the exact same thing you're not fooling anybody so I mean yeah I'm still looking forward to the movie of course because hopefully it's good but um we'll see